imagine Rome 2,000 years ago. At the heart of its bustling streets and towering architecture, a philosopher named Seneca was shaping the world with his thoughts. Born into an era of immense cultural and political upheaval, Seneca navigated the complexities of life with grace, serving not only as a philosopher, but also as a statesman and dramatist. His wisdom was as diverse as his roles, offering timeless insights on everything from politics to the human condition. Seneca was a key figure in Stoicism, a philosophy that emphasized virtue, wisdom, and emotional resilience. His teachings have endured through the ages, influencing countless individuals long after his death. Even today, his words echo in the minds of those seeking wisdom and clarity. His writings continue to inspire, challenge, and provoke thought, reminding us of the power of philosophy in shaping our understanding of the world. Seneca, a man of wisdom and depth, has left us with a wealth of knowledge, including a quote that we'll be exploring today. Seneca once said, We like to say that we don't get to choose our parents, that they were given by chance, yet we can truly choose whose children we'd like to be. What did he mean by that? Let's unpack this insightful quote by one of the most influential Stoic philosophers. At first glance, it's a nod to the universal truth that we cannot choose our biological parents. We're thrown into this world, and there they are. Our parents, chosen by the role of cosmic dice. But then, Seneca introduces a twist, suggesting that we can choose whose children we'd like to be. Now that's intriguing, isn't it? It's almost as if he's proposing a second birth, a rebirth of choice, rather than chance. Picture this, a young man named Alex. His parents are hardworking, but they've always struggled financially. They've done their best, but they've never been able to provide Alex with many opportunities. Alex, however, is ambitious. He dreams of a different life. He stumbles upon Seneca's writings and is struck by this quote. He realizes that he doesn't have to be just the child of his parents. He can choose whose child he wants to be. He decides he wants to be the child of success, of wealth, of opportunity. He starts to read, to learn, to work harder. He surrounds himself with successful people, learns from their experiences, their mistakes, their triumphs. He chooses mentors who embody the ideals he aspires to. He becomes, in essence, their child, adopting their values, their work ethic, their mindset. You see, what Seneca is getting at is not a physical or biological transformation, but a mental and spiritual one. He's encouraging us to consciously choose our ideals, our values and our influences. It's about deciding who we want to become and taking steps to embody that. So in essence, Seneca encourages us to become the children of our chosen ideals, not just the offspring of our biological parents. Now you might be wondering, how can this ancient quote apply to our lives in 2024? Well, in an age where information overload is the norm, where social media feeds are filled with images of perfection and success, it's easy to lose sight of who we are and what we truly want. It's easy to let external influences shape us, to adopt the values and goals of others as our own. But this is where Seneca's wisdom comes in. Seneca reminds us that it's not about the circumstances we're born into, whether we're born into wealth, poverty, a loving family, or a challenging one. It's about the choices we make, the values we adopt, and the path we decide to walk. We can choose whose children we'd like to be, not in a literal sense, but in terms of the ideals and values we adopt. We can choose to be the children of kindness, of courage, of honesty, or of any other virtue that resonates with us. In 2024, these words are more relevant than ever. In a world that often dictates what we should be, what we should look like, what we should achieve, it's crucial to remember that we have a choice. We can choose to follow the crowd, or we can choose to carve our own path. We can choose to adopt the ideals and values presented to us, or we can choose to question them, to seek our own truth, and to follow it. And it's not just about big, life-altering decisions. It's about the small, daily choices we make. It's about choosing to be kind when it's easier to be indifferent. It's about choosing to be brave when it's easier to stay in our comfort zone. It's about choosing to be honest when it's easier to lie. Each choice we make shapes us, molds us into the person we become. Seneca's wisdom, though ancient, offers a timeless guide to navigating our modern world. 
It reminds us that we have the power to shape our own lives, our own destinies. It reminds us that we're not just passive recipients of life's circumstances, but active participants in shaping our own journey. We have the power to choose whose children we'd like to be. And that, my friends, is truly liberating. But how can we put Seneca's wisdom into practice? Here are six practical ways. Firstly, we must choose our role models carefully. Think about the people you admire most in the world. They could be authors, scientists, athletes, or even fictional characters. They can also be people in your personal life, like a teacher who inspired you or a family member who embodies the virtues you value most. As we choose these role models, we are essentially selecting those from whom we want to learn and grow, those whose philosophies align with ours. In essence, we are choosing whose children we want to be. Secondly, setting your own goals is crucial. Your goals should be a reflection of your values, not those imposed by society or your biological parents. If you value knowledge, perhaps your goal is to read a certain number of books each year. If you value fitness, your goal may be to run a marathon. Your goals are a manifestation of who you want to become, and by setting and pursuing these goals, you choose whose child you want to be. Thirdly, it's important to continuously learn and grow. This is the process of becoming the child of your chosen role models. Read their work, study their lives and understand their philosophies. Strive to emulate their virtues in your own life. But remember, this is not about imitation. It's about incorporating their wisdom and values into your own unique journey. Fourthly, practice self-reflection. Regularly take time to assess your progress. Are you living in alignment with your chosen values? Are you making progress towards your goals? Are you growing in the way you want to? This step is vital in ensuring you're on the right path, the path of the child you've chosen to be. Fifthly, seek out communities that share your values. This can be an online forum, a local club, or a global organization. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals can reinforce your chosen values and goals and provide a supportive environment for growth. It's like finding a family that aligns with the child you've chosen to be. Lastly, be patient with yourself. This journey of self-discovery and self-growth is not a sprint, but a marathon. There will be obstacles and setbacks along the way, but remember, these are opportunities for growth. Be patient, persevere, and stay committed to your journey. Now let's take a moment to reflect on these six steps with a practical example. Imagine you admire the Stoic philosophy of Seneca. You choose him as your role model. You set goals that align with Stoicism, like practicing mindfulness and responding calmly to adversity. You read Seneca's works, you reflect on his philosophy, and you strive to incorporate his wisdom into your daily life. You join a Stoicism forum online, where you find support and encouragement from others who share your values. And throughout this journey, you remain patient with yourself, understanding that growth takes time. In this way, you have chosen to be a child of Seneca. But how can we put Seneca's wisdom into practice? Here are six practical ways. By implementing these steps, you can truly choose whose children you'd like to be. So, there you have it, an exploration of Seneca's wisdom and how to apply it in your life. It's quite the journey, isn't it? This ancient Stoic philosopher's thoughts, echoing down the centuries, still resonate with us today. It's a testament to the timeless nature of wisdom and the human condition. But reflecting on these words isn't enough. They must be put into action. So let's make this a two-way conversation. How do you see yourself implementing Seneca's wisdom in your own life? What changes do you anticipate? How will this influence your decisions, your relationships, your understanding of yourself? Your thoughts and experiences matter. They add depth to this discourse, bringing new perspectives, fresh insights. So don't hold back. Remember, you have the power to choose whose child you want to be. So who will you choose? Share your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content.